Uh, it's Christmas Eve day. There it is. Key rug. Clunk. That's my log for holding up my snowplow. This thing hasn't been outside in five years. <laughs> Crazy. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I'd have this thing running within a year, but that was five or six years ago or something like that. Anyhow, it's rusted. We'll get her going. Well, fix her up. Better not lose those bolts. Bearings. Junk. Junk. Puller truck. Tow vehicle. Family hauler. Multi purpose. Tow dolly. Suburban. Key rock. Two wheel drive. I thought it was rust free until I went to California. This came from California, but it's got some rust. Not too much, but uh, it's got some. Anyways, I'm going to put a motor in it. Got a lot of those. And sell it. Goodbye. 5.7 liter, 1979. From California. I got to get it loaded up. I need two hands to do that. I don't have lots of room here to get the blazer and do some repairs on that. Ain't cranking this baby up. It's sitting there. 700R4, here we come. Goodbye, Turbo 400. Hook up. Let's see what happens. Could use a second person, but it's Christmas Eve. Squeeze. Uh oh. Got junk. Uh, running out of time on the camera, so we'll uh, maybe make a movie maker movie, and we'll keep you posted. Chevrolet. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll get her out. Just sit the camera on this cable TV box. We don't need no stinking cable TV. We'll crank her out. How about that? Whee! Two wheel drive. Chevy. When I pushed it in here five years ago, it was a tight squeeze rubbed on both sides. USA. Merry Christmas and God bless America. United States of America, 60 vote. Crappy socialized medicine. I wish we had socialized medicine. A lot better than the insurance companies running the show. USA. All right, we got to load her up on the tow dolly. Chevrolet and a GMC.
Yeah, I'll get you a better shot. Coca-Cola. There we go. On the back. On the back. Mugs in his baddie boy. Pretty good, huh? Well, crank her up. Got my come along the old-fashioned way. Somebody's been yanking on that bumper. Look what's doing in the barn with 13 seconds to go. Haven't seen the floor here in so long. Seven. Six Corvair engine block, Vietnam War Memorial. Here we go. Turn your radio off. There it is. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> this is my celebration, leaking oil everywhere. Happy Christmas, man. Stop making that freaking noise. You know, I'm trying to get some sleep up here. Yeah, yeah only problem is I need two hands to pull this thing. Yeah, letting the bugs out. Crunch. Don't try this. Yeah. down there, but... Got more junk up here. I've been filling it up. Need some insulation? Got lots. Forgot to put the bungee cord on. Forgot something. Here's my vegetable oil tank. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Well, ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho yourself. Don't have too much ho, ho turkey. Crank her up. It's a crank her up Christmas. Got posse? Yeehaw. All right. We got gutters to clean out the freaking block. Thirty-two degrees, zero Celsius. We got block gutters. Oh boy, water's dripping at that end. Oop, there we go. Just missed Fruit Loops pulled out of the parking lot, smoking the tires. So well, daily tasks. Uh oh, here it comes. Just popped off the bracket. Oh, man. Block gutters. Gotta love it. Oh, rusting away, too. Junk. That gutter's probably 180 million years old. And this one's five years old. Rusted. Junk. Oh, test the old gutters now. Talk about cleaning them out, huh? Oh, yummy. That's it. We're done. Happy Christmas.
forecast, partly cloudy tonight, the low near 20. Tomorrow, Christmas Day, will be partly sunny with the highs in the mid-30s. Freezing rain and sleet late Friday night. Oh, yeah. Saturday, changing to all rain by Saturday afternoon, the high 35. Freezing rain. Here, I just put this bracket on. I get a winter storm watch. We'll crank her up. Crank her up. Comes, sun's going down. Whatever sun we had. Yeah. Give you a different angle. It. We're done. We'll strap her down and we'll head off to the country. Put some motor in it. Where are we? Nice at night. Chevrolet. There. Perfect shot. I'm all dressed up for winter, even if it is around 0.32. Bye. Happy Christmas. I ran out of memory and I couldn't make a video, but I got friggin' stuck. Anyhow. <laughs> I ain't got much in the way of tires on this thing. They're highway tires. They're really steer tires. They're not traction tires and they're three quarters worn out. Crunch. But I'm not gonna do that again in my four-wheel drive propped out, you know, the 208 transfer cases. Bring this slop in my T-Ruck. The 208 transfer cases have a problem with the shift forks wearing out. You gotta put it in four-wheel drive from time to time to shoot some oil up, but nobody ever does. So, we're in low range, which it popped out of earlier. Not sure if it's an adjustment or it's junk. And, uh, No friggin' traction with those tires. We're out of time. Thanks for looking. Whee! Four wheel drive. Junk. I thought this was so nice. But I stopped and got a picture and a video and the blazer out front. They're coming down soon. Too bad, so nice. Everybody's getting the fill up. <laughs> hey babies. Oh yeah, is that the good stuff? 
Mmm. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. No, uh, just to put the air on. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm. Back in jail. Right to West Palm Beach, Florida. How many miles per gallon do you get in the dually? Uh, I would say 19. Really? No, no, miles. What do you mean per gallon? Yeah. Liter, liter. Liters per 100 kilometers. Yeah. Too complicated. 19.1 liters per 100 kilometers. 19.1 liters, that means. Three, four gallons for 60 miles. 15 miles per gallon, 14. Not so bad for a dually. Big ass crew cab with a big trailer with four friends. Oh yeah, a little bit more. McDonald's. Super, hey, could you supersize me? <laughs> uh, happy safe travels. I guess I'll make a short video. <laughs> this is what's interesting though. It ain't no S10. So, that's, all, that's all it's S10 about it. It's got chains, it's got heat, it's got a 5 speed, it's got a transfer case, it's got a spinner on the steering wheel, tachometer, gauges, nice comfy Ford seat, it's got a horn. <laughs> all it's missing is brakes. Is it a Toyota engine, an old Toyota chain drive, chain cam? Pretty interesting. Yeah, somebody put a lot of work into it. Crank it up, see you run. Doesn't have a hand crank? Oh shit. Junk. Hydraulic pump off the cam. Crank that. Rope. Yeah, full start. Rope. <laughs> what are you screwing up over here? Oh, pretty. Chevrolet. What a pile of junk. That's it. crank this baby up. We got it hooked onto this. We got here an old hand truck that I found in the garbage from the Pontiac dealership. But Pontiac's in the garbage now, so this is how you, this is how you clean up the place. Oh, I'm gonna hit the, the step here. Hang on, I gotta change hands. I'm a, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eliminate this extension cord. Yeah, just unplug I'm it. Rip it to shreds. It's a purple cord, it's kind of cool. Eliminate the purple cord. It's a purple cord, I don't want to kill the purple cord. Which is for the battery charger that I ran over with the T-Ruck. Brand new battery charger. Look at that, we got a whole space in the corner here. Under construction. August 17th, Saturday, that was probably 1996. Somebody asked me about that. Saturday, August 17th, only comes every like 7 or 8 or 10 years. Look at this, even my freaking staircase has become a junk pile. It's enough room to walk. Junk, gotta get a truck in here. Alright, let's scrape it along the ground here. Get low. I think I've got an invitation to go to uh, Eric, Oklahoma, put my vegetable oil conversion on. <laughs> I'm a of shit here. Uh, well, 
I got the friggin seat off. See that screw in the back? I'm showing you my fat boy because piss on jack crap wanted to see my fat boy. The screw on the back of that seat, oh there it goes, is underneath my luggage which is right there. Think, think, think. And uh, I don't want to take this luggage off because it takes two people otherwise you scratch the fender. So I'm just taking the battery out of my fat boy I'm bringing into the story when things are halfway done already and you're wondering what the heck is he talking about? This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to unscrew the battery cables. This battery is the original battery from 1999. This was an early 2000 fat boy that was built in late 99 in Pennsylvania. And I thought I heard that Harley was ceasing Buell production after 15 years, 135,000 bikes. And in fact, that is the truth. Buells are cancelled. No more new Buells. It's too bad. I rode a couple Buells and they were pretty neat bikes. Hey, Mugs. That's a mouse pad with mugs on it. So, I got the battery cables off. And I was worried this battery would burst. Because when the battery goes dead, it loses its charge and it'll blow up, but it didn't. L9, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L. You don't count the I. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L. Twelve ninety-nine. Lasted for uh, nine years because it didn't work this past summer. It worked the summer before. At least it didn't blow up. So this is my Harley. I've made a couple videos of it, and I've ridden the bike with the camera between my legs and in my hand, but there it is. I got a Harley Fat Boy that my buddy Eric, who passed away, even though in my dream last night he was right by my side, we were chatting like the old times. This is my Harley. 2000 Fat Boy, the one that had the problems with the cam followers or guides or bear Oh, the cam bearings. They changed the cam bearings. They didn't do it on mine. They didn't cause any problem yet. It's got... Uh, 16,000 miles. Can't show you because there's no battery, but it's got 16,000 miles and I had a lot of good times with it. And I raced Eric and he raced me and he was always a little faster. Got my highway pegs and we'll crank her up next summer, put a new tire on it. And uh, thanks for looking. This place is kind of clean. Shibbly! I find them all. Oh, it's rusted. Rusty Jones. What does it mean? Guaranteed to rust out? Junk. Check this out. Huh. Only one gas tank. 305 rust bucket. C10 two-wheel drive piece of... Take some taillight. Long way down. Chunk. Don't you wish you could have this Chevy? You get the low rider on one side. Chevy. Rusted. That's what my piece of cloud front looked like when I bought it, but it was actually worse. If you can believe it, there was no rocker whatsoever. Door close is nice. Still there. How many miles this baby got? Thirty-four thousand? Maybe. Small mirrors. Cheapy bottle. Chevrolet. It's rusted. What a beauty. We'll fix her up. What else we got here? Nothing. No cars at all. Just one Chevrolet. It's raining. I don't know what's worse. Rain and bitter cold or 12 inches of snow in Oklahoma City. Rusted. Junk. Custom Deluxe. Off to China with you. <laughs> it's cold here. <laughs>